Okay, let's talk about how to multiply positive and negative numbers. So I'm talking about like a problem like this. So here we have negative 3 times negative 5, and the answer is a positive 15. We want to know why that is. And uh, the great thing about this um, uh, topic is that it is super easy, super easy. But things that are easy in mathematics are also easy to mess up, not only, not only in math, but in life as well. So... You know, uh, again, you want to practice this, and we're only focusing in on multiplying positive and negative numbers. But uh, beyond this video, you want to know how to divide. Of course, we're going to be talking about multiplication, adding, and subtracting, and you want to put all these together. But I will say right off the bat that the rule for multiplication is exactly the same as division. Okay, so if you understand how to multiply positive and negative numbers, then you will automatically understand how to divide positive and, and uh, negative numbers as it is the same rule. Okay, so we're going to get to all this in just one second, but first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. I've been teaching math for decades, and I like to believe that I refined a super clear and understandable uh, teaching style, okay? Because I truly believe that all students, no matter what skill you skill level of math you think you are, all students can be very, very successful in math. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, okay, I believe I have the right math instruction for you. So definitely check out my math help program. If you happen to be uh, studying or preparing for some sort of test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, uh, maybe a um, placement test for college or teacher certification exam, uh, military ASVAB exam. There's a ton of tests out there like that. I can help you uh, prepare and pass those tests. If you homeschool, I have outstanding middle school and high school math courses. Matter of fact, I was just recently voted number one for middle school and high school uh, mathematics um, and homeschooling by a major homeschool publication. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get to it and talk about how to multiply positive and negative numbers. So here is the rule, okay? I told you it was gonna be easy, and here, uh, here is the rule, super easy. If the signs are the same, the answer is positive, and if the signs are different, the answer is negative, okay? Again, easy, all right? However, things that are easy are also easy to mess up. So let's go ahead and see how this rule works. So I have negative three times negative two, all right? So what is the situation. Do they have, uh, these numbers have the same sign or different sign? Well, a negative and negative, these numbers have the same sign, so the answer is positive. So negative three times negative six, just multiply the numbers, so that is gonna be a positive six, okay? All right, same problem. I have a positive three times negative two. What's the situation with the signs? Well, in this case, the signs are different. This is positive, this is negative. So the answer is going to be negative, all right? So this would be a negative six, all right? So super easy. And um, again, this is the rule for multiplication and division of positive and negative numbers. So it's pretty exciting stuff because when you think about it, when you're working with positive and negative numbers, you have to know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And if you understand this rule, you got these two operations down. That's 50% of uh, mastering positive and negative numbers. And I'm telling you right now, as a math teacher, uh, tons of students, if uh, students are struggling in math, uh, typically they, they struggle with this. It's not because it's difficult, because they, uh, because they really haven't practiced enough or they're still confused about... Um, these rules. Okay, so again, this is the same rule for division. Okay, multiplication, division, same rule. Now, addition and subtraction, that's a different story. I have additional videos on that, so make sure you follow through so you can get all your positive and negative number rules down. But let's go ahead and do a couple quick practice problems just to make sure you totally got this. So we're going to put our answers right here. Okay, and uh, if you want to go and pause the video and do this, it probably should take you all of about 30 seconds to do. But let's do it together. We'll start off with our first question. So I have negative 8 times a positive 4. Are the signs uh, same or different? Well, they're different. Negative and a positive. So different signs mean the, means the answer is going to be negative. right? So 4 times 8, 32. So this is a negative 32. All right, so let's move on to our second uh, problem. I'm looking at the signs first. Okay, I'm saying, are they the same or they are different? 
these, this is a negative, this is negative, same sign, so the answer is going to be positive. So 9 times 2 is 18. Now, I don't have to write a positive 18. You know, if I just write this like this, it's already implied that this is a positive 18. Okay. All right, so let's move on to number 3. And number 3 has a bit of a twist because we have this negative of a negative 5. I kind of threw that in there because you go, you're definitely going to have to know how to deal with a negative of a negative. But this is super easy. You can also think of a negative sign as meaning opposite. So this is like the opposite of a negative 5. So what's the opposite of a negative 5? It is a positive 5. So a negative of a negative is positive. So this problem really is a uh, is equal to 5 times positive 3, which of course, uh, same signs, positive and positive. So therefore, the answer is positive 15. Okay, so let's finish up with our last problem here. So I have negative 16 times a positive 10. This is negative, this is positive, different signs, okay? So my answer is gonna be negative. So 16 times 10, that would be 160. So this is negative 160. Okay, so how did you do? Okay, hopefully you're like, this is super easy. And if that is uh, the case, if you're like, oh my goodness, this I didn't know it was this easy. Well, I'm definitely gonna give you a happy face and A plus, and I'm gonna give you, um, a pretty cool hairstyle back like in 1982 that wasn't so easy. And that was those crazy mohawks they used to wear back in those days. I never wore those, but they were not easy. It took a lot of hairspray, a lot of effort, okay, unlike these proms. But anyways, okay, very nice job. And matter of fact, let me throw in a 100% and a few stars just to make you feel extra special for mastering how to multiply positive and negative numbers. Again, if you know how to multiply, you also know how to divide. So don't forget that. But here's the deal. Okay. These few little uh, problems is not enough. Okay. You need to practice. Um, remember math is a skill. Okay. And watching me do math is not the same thing as you learning math. Okay. So follow through and uh, a couple quick suggestions. If you really want to uh, learn this stuff, I would suggest any one of my algebra courses like pre-algebra, um, uh, algebra one. I actually have a foundations math course, which is like for basic math as well, which I do teach positive and, ne and negative numbers in that course. But if this little video helped you out, well, then go ahead and consider helping me out by smashing that like button and maybe even subscribing to my uh, YouTube channel. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos from basic math to advanced math, like calculus and everything in between. So if you think you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all the videos that I've posted and will post, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.